I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Your suffering is not because God doesn't love you. Your suffering is to save you. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you like our videos, if you, if you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share. That is both sharing our content and sharing the Higher Things Love with HT merchandise and donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. And we need this gospel in these dark times. Yesterday, we celebrated the conversion of St. Paul but there was more. And so we're going to do a little overtime today about suffering. And, and, and this is the key here. Okay. So Paul was knocked off his horse. Uh, Jesus came to him and preached to him and shined on him and blinded him. Now the rest of the story. Now there was a disciple at Damascus named Ananias the Lord said to him, Ananias, and he said, here I am, Lord. And he said, rise and go to a street called Straight. So you can be pretty sure that a street called Straight is a straight street. At the house of Judas, you will look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. For behold, he is praying. He has seen a vision of a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him that he might regain his sight. Now, the cool thing about this is, is that, is that, the Lord comes to Pastor Ananias and gives him an order. And it's to go and find a guy named Saul of Tarsus. Now, Ananias knows who this Paul, this Saul is. And he's going to tell him. Because, because like, we all sort of get this idea that you can't tell God what you think. You guys are sort of pious and just say, yes, sir. But, but that's not true. You can tell God exactly what you think. And so does this young pastor. Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints at Jerusalem. How he has come here with authority from the chief priests to bind all who call upon your name. And the Lord said to him, go. For he is my chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. And here's the key. For I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. The pastor, of course, does it. He goes and he baptizes him. And you know the rest of the story. Paul writes most of the New Testament. But this word, from God today is a word for you. I will show him how much he must suffer for my name. Now, if you open the pamphlet for Christianity and you saw suffer for his name, you might put the pamphlet down. You can't build a world ministry, George Borkart World Ministries and theme park by telling you that you're going to suffer for Jesus's name. How many YouTubers, how many televangelists, how many people say, you just pray this prayer? and you believe this gospel, and God will give you your best life now. None of them ever say, believe in Jesus and learn how to live bankrupt. Believe in Jesus and learn how to be hated by your family. Believe in Jesus and let me show you how much your life can stink. No. The peddlers of false doctrine, the, the, the false teachers and false prophets of the world promise you something that God never promises you. A life without suffering, a life without pain, a life without death. And I'm telling you that you can learn from Paul that just because God causes you to suffer, just because you suffer for his name, just because your life doesn't turn out the way you've planned it does not mean that God doesn't love you. Quite the opposite. God shows his love for you in the midst of the bad that happens to you. He was with Paul every single step of his life. 
He was with Paul through the preaching, through the miracles, and through the like, all the glitzy televangelist Paul uh, things. But he was also with him in jail. He was also with him through the beatings. He was also with him through the, the rejection, through the shipwreck, through, oh, he was also with him when he was charged. And he was also with him when he was killed. That's the truth of the gospel, that in the suffering and death of Jesus, in your baptism, in the resurrection of Christ, you died with God, Christ and you live. And just as bad happened to Jesus, it happens to you. But just as Jesus, the, but the comfort is, the most that could happen to Paul was that they killed him. He rose from the dead. The most that can happen to you in this life is that they kill you. You'll rise from the dead. You've already risen from the dead in the water and in the word. All they're going to do is make your baptism a reality. Sometimes in life, everything happens great. Nothing goes wrong. And we have, a, we look at our lives and we go, I don't think it could get any better. And other times our life is filled with sadness and pain and suffering. Through it all, because of Jesus, because of his word, because of his baptism, because of his body and blood, because of his death and resurrection, because of his Calvary and Easter, he is with you every step of the way. He's with you on the plane with his good gifts and spirit. Ask ye who this is? Jesus Christ it is of Sabaoth, Lord, and there is none other God, and he holds the field forever. Jesus needed to be with Ananias for him to go and baptize the guy who was sent to kill him. And Jesus was with Paul, the newly baptized through the beatings and the floggings and the mockings and the martyrdom. And Jesus is with you through your life, the good, the bad, the happy, the sad, even death itself. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things video short.